Boo! Sorry, did I scare you? <laughs> Hi everybody, Nikki Marr here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And boy, do I have a video for you guys today. Yes, today we have an entire mini vlog of Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party 2024, as well as a haul of all the merchandise that I bought on my trip. But with that being said, I, right now, just got back from Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party and I'm tired. So I'm gonna throw this one over to Editing Nikki. Take it away. Thanks, Vacation Nikki. Hi everybody, Nikki Mara here, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you've all had a fabulous week and are ready for yet another video. And we're doing this one in a way that I didn't expect to do it. <laughs> so as many of you may know, I did promise a full vlog of my Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party night. However, a few things went awry. But fear not, we are going to go through everything from my trip, including a mini vlog of Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party and also an entire merch haul. So fear not, we still have a video for this week and I'm very excited to show you a bunch of little clips from my trip and to talk about some of the Halloween exclusives that I got to experience over in the parks. So if you're ready to dive into what it's like to go to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party in full getup, then sit back, relax, grab yourself a snack and a drink, and let's get into it. So for those of you who may not know, I attended Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party on October 15th, 2024. And it was pure magic. Probably one of the best nights that I have ever had in the Magic Kingdom. For those of you that saw last week's video, my Hatbox Ghost costume tutorial, you will know that I pulled out all the stops this year and went full out on my Halloween costume. And while I don't like to make excuses, this is reason number one that I had a very difficult time vlogging within the Magic Kingdom. I had props galore, which filled both of my hands for the entire night, including not only a full hat box, but also, well, a special guest. <laughs> yes, little Grogu wanted to join, and he of course had to dress up, and so we put together a lovely little Madame Leota look for him. <laughs> and it's also important to note that five minutes into walking into the Magic Kingdom, my battery was halfway gone on my camera. <laughs> But let's start all the way back at the beginning of this day because, oh my gosh, I have to tell you all about my morning. We started off by arriving early at the Magic Kingdom to which we saw all of the beautiful Halloween decorations that they had put up. There were banners galore all over the train station and also over the town hall. They have these really cool scarecrows dressed up in period costumes. And of course the iconic Mickey pumpkin wreaths that lined Main Street. Oh, it brought all of the fall feels and I was living. <laughs> but believe me when I say we took full advantage of the day. Now I will also point out and note that if you're planning to attend Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, it is a great decision to go to the Magic Kingdom on that same day. Because normal crowds don't really want to spend the full money on a park ticket for a day when the Magic Kingdom is closing at 6 p.m. And so the crowds are extremely minimal and you can get on a lot of great rides. On this day, we rode the Haunted Mansion, Small World, Pirates of the Caribbean, and also got a great seat for the Festival of Fantasy Parade. The Festival of Fantasy is always so much fun to watch. I love this parade so much. And I actually talk about it quite a bit more in my ranking of Disney parades, which I can link up above for you. But yes, this was such a wonderful morning in the Magic Kingdom with minimal lines and minimal crowds. And so even though you technically have a half day in Magic Kingdom if you attend on a party day, with the crowds being as minimal as they are, I really feel like you can get quite a bit done. But after we attended the parade and went on a few more rides around 4 o'clock, my party and I left the Magic Kingdom. Now, we got lucky enough that we were able to stay at the Polynesian Resort, which was accessible by monorail, a really, really convenient way to travel to the Magic Kingdom. And believe me, we needed it with the costumes we were in. <laughs> But yes, we monorailed back to our hotel room over in the Polynesian Resort and then started the amazing race to get into my Hatbox Ghost costume. It took me, I want to say about an hour and a half to get the full look completed. And at that point, we were ready to head out. I was still quite optimistic about vlogging, but that optimism very quickly went away. <laughs> Almost immediately upon arriving in the Grand Ceremonial Hall, which is the area for guest check-in and the main common area for the Polynesian Resort. And it was upon arriving at the Ceremonial Hall that we got the first taste of what was to come for the rest of the night. 
as many guests really, really loved and appreciated the care and attention that we put into our costumes and were asking us for photos of our costumes. Now, it is very important to note that I was very attentive to make sure that my Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party band was visible when pictures were being taken. Because for the park rules, it is very important that guests know that you are a guest and not a Disney performer. And being such a lover of the Disney parks, I always want to make sure I'm abiding by their rules. So while a smirk in a photo or a little joke with guests about the Hatbox Ghost is not harmful, it's very important to make sure that you are not performing a character for them because you are not the Hatbox Ghost. You are a guest also attending Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. And by you, I mean me. I was a guest at the party. <laughs> So yes, we ended up taking, I want to say probably four to five photos within just the ceremonial hall. And I also want to say we had another four to five taken by the time we got through security, got on the monorail, and entered the Magic Kingdom. So having my hands full and constantly having to stop to take pictures, it was a bit of a hassle. But I will say emotionally it was absolutely wonderful to see people appreciate all of the time and effort that I put into my costume. And if anybody happened to see me in the parks and grab a picture, make sure to comment and DM it to me on Instagram. Everybody that I met and talked to was so incredibly nice. And thank you all for your kind words, it really meant a lot. But yes, upon arriving at Magic Kingdom, one of the first things that we wanted to do was ride the Haunted Mansion. Now the ghost woman Carlotta, who typically takes residency up in the line, was not quite out yet, so we didn't get to meet her, but we still got on the ride in full costume, which was so cool and so fun. Then afterwards, we attended the first showing of Mickey's Boo to You Halloween Parade, which was absolutely electric. Now, if I can give you a piece of advice, if you are a Halloween lover, much like myself, I absolutely encourage you to go all out in your Halloween costume, especially if it's Disney themed, because the amount of attention from the parade performers that me and my party got was absolutely overwhelming and created so much magic for us. A short list of characters that came up and interacted with me and my party include Snow White, Dopey, Rapunzel, Mickey, Donald, Clarabelle, Pluto, Captain Hook and Mr. Smee, as well as some of the other pirate dancers, Captain Jack Sparrow and Barbosa, the Haunted Mansion Grave Diggers, Constance Hatchaway and the Haunted Mansion Dancers, the Hitchhiking Ghosts, the Scarecrow Hoedown Dancers, Goofy, Taffeta Mutton Fudge, Candlehead, and Vanellope, Ursula, Flotsam, and Jetsam, Horace and Jasper, some of the playing cards, the Skeleton Band, Anastasia and Drizella, as well as Lady Tremaine, Jafar, Maleficent, and the Evil Queen. And if you have seen Mickey's Booty You Halloween Parade, that is a lot of Disney characters and performers to give you attention. It was kind of overwhelming and totally unexpected. So yes, if you are planning to go, make sure to go all out with your costume because Mickey and his friends, I promise you, will absolutely love it. In addition, we also saw the Halloween fireworks show, which features a full Jack Skellington, which appears on the castle stage, as well as a really cute and beautiful story about Mickey and his friends, which was just absolutely so much fun and put us in the perfect Halloween spirit. In addition, we also listened to the Cadaver Dance over in Frontierland, who sounded absolutely beautiful on some really haunting Disney songs, as well as the Pirate Band that was over in front of Pirates of the Caribbean. I love going over and listening to the Pirate Band. They are so, so incredibly talented. And it was also quite fun to meet the hitchhiking ghosts who happened to appear on a little balcony over in Frontierland, and they were all so, so fun and interacting with me and my family. In addition, we of course had to go back and see the second showing of Mickey's Boo to You Halloween Parade, because it is in my top three Disney parades of all time, and considering you only get to see it at the ticketed event, I wasn't gonna miss both showings, you know me. <laughs> After that, we wanted to jump in a few lines to grab some candy, of which I highly, highly recommend going over to Princess Fairy Tale Hall. As in line to get some candy, you can meet the two most iconic Disney villainesses of all time, who are the Evil Queen and Maleficent. It was so cool getting to meet Maleficent herself, my favorite Disney villain of all times. As many of you may know, we really haven't had a Maleficent meet and greet in Magic Kingdom in a really long time. In fact, Maleficent appearances as of recently are not 
abundant except for around Halloween time. So getting to see her not only in the parade but also in between the parades over in the candy line was so so magical and so cool. I also wanted to give a shout out to two very special cast members as two of my friends from college were working the Halloween party. So Claire and Annalisa it was so wonderful getting to see both of you and absolutely put a wonderful smile on my face and made my Halloween party even better. Now snacks. At the Halloween party, there was one particular snack that I was very intrigued to try, which was Madame Leota's Seance Candle, which is a cake-like push pop with some candy pearls frosting and red velvet cake. And when I tell you this thing was absolutely one of the best Disney snacks that I've ever had. It was so, so tasty. And if you get a chance, make sure to grab one of the Seance Candles because they are out of this world. And while technically not at the Halloween party, there was also a really fun snack over in Disney's Hollywood Studios at the Rosie's counter, which was the, I think it was called Snickerdoodle Pumpkin Spice Cookie, maybe? Whatever it's called. It is so yummy, so tasty. Highly, highly recommend. But yes, our night was absolutely filled with magic and it was so fun. I could not have asked for anything more at Mickey's Not So Scary. But now it's time for a little merch haul as you probably guessed that I was gonna spend some money at the Halloween party. <laughs> so let me show you what I got. Let's start with the spirit jerseys because first and foremost, I saw this brand new Hitchhiking Ghost spirit jersey, which is just absolutely gorgeous. And it glows in the dark. Absolutely, add to cart. <laughs> I absolutely loved the design of this one, and you will absolutely see me sporting this one on Instagram pretty soon. <laughs> In addition to the Haunted Mansion Spirit Jersey, I also had to pick up the 2024 Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party Spirit Jersey, which has Mickey on the front and Mickey and Friends on the back with the year 2024 and the words Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. I also do have the 2023 version of the Halloween Party jersey, but considering I like to grab one every single year that I go, I had to get the 2024 one as well. Now as for the goodies that you get with your party, upon entry to the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, you are gifted a little candy bag that you can take into a bunch of candy lines and grab some free candy. The front of it says, let's boo this, and on the back it says Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, and has Mickey and Minnie in their gorgeous Halloween outfits. Now, next for merch. As you all know, I have a lovely little lounge fly wall that is in the back of a lot of my videos, and I'm very excited to announce that I will be adding to that with the Halloween lounge fly bag. This one is so gorgeous and so fun. It has Mickey and all of his friends in a haunted house and three very special little doors that if you open up reveals a few more characters as you can see. This one is so incredibly fun and on the back also has another little cute shot of Mickey and his friends for Halloween. This was one that was absolutely adorable and I could not leave without it. And they were also running a special on this bag where if you bought this with another piece of merchandise, you got the bag for 50 instead of, I want to say, 80? question mark, maybe? So yes, considering I was getting the spirit jersey anyway, it was pretty good in saving a ton of money. Now next up in merch, technically a snack item, but we're gonna call it merch, which is the Mickey pumpkin popcorn bucket. This was so cute and I could not leave without it. He does light up, but I have not figured out how to do that. But I just absolutely love that Mickey is in his pumpkin filled with candy. So cute to get to carry this around the park and I absolutely love him. Now this next one I didn't get on this trip, but I still wanted to share it with you because it's a Halloween item. And while you may have already seen it over on my Instagram, I have yet to debut it here on YouTube, which is the D23 Ichabod and Mr. Toad jacket. I saw this on the Shop Disney website around the time when D23 happened and I had to have it. Again, I have already taken pictures on my Instagram, which I will insert right here. But yes, I just absolutely love this jacket and you all know how much I love Ichabod and Mr. Toad, so had to get it. <laughs> now as for some final goodies that you get with the Halloween party is the map. This is your Bible for the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, as it shows you where all of the specialty food and beverages are, some signature dining, some twists on attractions, special character meet and greets, and even Disney entertainment. So if you are attending the party, make sure to pick this up because it is extremely helpful in planning your evening. Now this was totally unexpected, but such a sweet surprise. One of the other party guests that we ran into in the parks 
came over to us and she expressed that she loved our costumes and she asked us if we wanted some stickers and she handed us some beautiful Haunted Mansion stickers, which I absolutely love. Now, I don't know if this is from her company or if she got them somewhere else, but if any of you recognize these stickers, please let me know where you found them because I think these are absolutely adorable and would love to purchase more of them. I just, I just, I don't know where they came from. So I would love to know. Whoever handed me these, thank you so much. It absolutely made my night and I will be treasuring these for a long, long time. Thank you so, so much. And finally, for the last thing that I want to show you from Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party is this button that I probably will treasure always. Now, when me and my family were getting ready to watch the second showing of Mickey's Boo to You Halloween Parade, two wonderful cast members came over and handed us this button on which they wrote, I'm celebrating having the best costume. And they explained to us that cast members are quite often watching all of the guests at Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. And apparently the costumes that me and my family were wearing happened to catch a lot of their attention. And so these two absolutely wonderful cast members who were so kind and so sweet to us came over and let us know that we were the cast member's choice for best costumes at the Halloween party, which not gonna lie, kind of made me emotional, but it was it was just so, so sweet and so special to be not only acknowledged by a lot of the party guests, but also the cast members who were absolutely incredible at this event. Cast members are truly the unsung heroes of the Disney parks. And if you ever get a chance to just go the extra mile and be kind to a cast member, I'm telling you they can make magic happen like you wouldn't believe. Again, don't expect anything from them, but just be grateful for anything that they're able to do for you because they are wonderful, wonderful people and their jobs are not easy at all. Yes, the amount of respect that I have for cast members is absolutely above and beyond. They are my heroes and they always will be. And this was just kind of a little nod from them that was very meaningful and very special to me. And this will be going somewhere special in my room where I can see it every day. Oh my gosh, friends. But with all of that being said, I believe that brings us to the end of this recap of my trip to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party and also to the Halloween season. Now I know Halloween is still coming up, but next Friday is November, which means this is the final video in my four weeks of Halloween series. And I want to thank you all so, so much for all of the love on all of my Halloween videos this year. I'm going to be attaching a playlist up above to all of the Halloween videos in case you want to revisit any of them for the rest of spooky season. But yes, thank you again so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe down below so that way you never miss out on any future magic from me. Because believe it or not, we have a ton of brand new magic coming up. We have some really fun videos planned for November, but also some very festivous videos coming in the month of December. And I am so excited for what is coming up ahead. So with that, my friends, I will say thank you so much for joining me. Stay spooky. And until next time, I'll see you all real soon.